I'm having a meeting here via the modern format of Zoom with my colleague Richard, and we wanted to just recap the property market, how it started so far in 2021, and we felt that um, you may benefit from that. So Richard, can you give us a brief overview of what's happened so far this year? Yeah, um, this is our third lockdown. So obviously, we, you know, like everyone else, um, we were entering the year thinking that uh, um, you know, not quite know what, what, what was ahead. Um, so initially, once the lockdown was announced, there was a, a period of time where things were quite quiet. Um, and then as like the last two lockdowns, things have just steadily increased. Um, volumes have increased, numbers of sales, numbers of exchanges, uh, and numbers of valuations uh, have started to increase. Um, so it's certainly um, very encouraging signs, um, but like any market like last year, we really don't know what's ahead at the moment. Um, but right now, um, things have, 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 have held up well. And are there any particular price ranges that are more active than others? I think the top end of the market, and, and that's really properties um, over half a million pounds, are still driven by the stamp duty um, uh, change, whereby you 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 know you would say fifteen thousand um, uh, pounds if you bought a property over half a million pounds. That comes to an end on the thirty first of March, um, and I think a lot of people are, are are still trying to get in before that time. But also, we're now uh, selling property to people that, that realise that they're unlikely to make that date, um, and are happy to pay. What, and you know the extra uh, or whatever happens uh, from that date. So I think the top end of the market is still very strong. So a lot of people wanting to move out of towns and cities and relocate to the southwest. And looking at quite a specific market, the investment marketplace, so people buy to rent out a property. Um, would you advise that now's a good time for that with all the increased legislation and, and, and compliance that's required? Oh, I think um, it really depends on what sort of investment you're after. So a lot of people buy us, uh, an investment property, the uh, return on the investment, so i.e. the yield, the, the, the monthly rent, um, and, and that at the moment is very strong. So although you might pay a little bit more than you might have done in previous years, um, I think the rental uh, return actually is still very strong. Now, there are a lot of legislation that has been um, sort of put on the rental market, quite rightly so. And obviously, I think using a, a managing agent uh, has become really, really important. Um, they can advise you and take you through a lot of changes that have happened. Um, but I think in general, those looking for a sort of five to 10 year longer term the yields are good i think that the outlook for the west country is still very strong um and yeah i would say it's it, it, it's, it's certainly something to look at okay good thank you um if someone's thinking of moving right now but very much on the fence we, we, we're sort of stuck in this awful situation with the pandemic um the virus is rife what reassurance can you give them that actually you know now is quite a, a reasonably safe time to move and, and and what precautions are we taking to ensure our clients safety yeah, we get asked this a lot, and it's a very good question. Uh, I think people need to be very aware that um, as an industry, we've taken this extremely seriously. Um, we can only deal with people that are in a procedurable position, which obviously means that that is less people that, that can view your property. We film, um, we take pictures, you've got Google Earth, you've got so many things to really help you look at the property uh, and understand it. All our offices are open, so if you've got any specific inquiries, we can answer most information before you view. Um, obviously, when you view, we have very strict rules um, about you know, who can come, uh, how many people can enter the property, they have to wear PPE. Um, we ask our clients to leave all the doors open so nothing is touched within a property. So viewings can take place comfortably um, without really too much of an issue. Um, and that has, you know, people have got more and more confident and used to that now. And we are seeing people, you know, a lot more happier with, with, with dealing with that. OK, good. Thank you. And um, one last question for you. I'm going to put you on the spot. What do you think house prices are going to do in 2021? Are they going to go up, fall down, stay the same? Well, I think um, what we will see this year, I mean, who knew what was going to happen last year? I mean, what, a, what an unbelievable year that was. But I think what we will see is definitely with the rollout of the vaccination, we're going to see more properties coming to the market, more people happy to, to move. I think with a lot of people deciding to maybe stay in, this, in the UK uh, this year, I think a lot of people have saved quite a lot of money. So I think now um, we will see more people take advantage of that. There'll be more property on the market. So to, in a long-winded way to answer your question, 
I can see a relatively mild increase of two to three percent across the board. However, uh, there are hot spots and there are different micro markets within the southwest where you might actually see five to six percent where there is a lack of property and, and out of area buyers might drive that up a little bit. Um, so that that would be my my best stab at what is going to be a very uh, unusual year, I'm sure. Thank you, Richard. I really appreciate that. And and just picking up on your point about sort of micro markets, I think what's really important for anyone, whether you're buying, renting, selling it. It's really important to get in touch with your local estate agent to find out what's happening in your local market. Each town will be slightly different. We hope that's been of interest to you. We hope that's given you some help. Please uh, stay safe, uh, look after each other, and we'll keep you updated in due course. Thank you. Thank you.